What is up, my scrubs? Welcome back. I am Beat You Mike, if you didn't know that already. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Exit Music. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for your amazing support. You guys really love this, and you know that I love it, okay? Just, I gotta say that, you know, props to, to the developer, or to the creator of this mod. Again, I always link it down below if you guys want to play it. But the writing, and just the mod altogether, is just so amazing. Wait. Oh. Well, he hello. Hi, Natsuki. Welcome. Oh, my God. A gift? Another gift from Natsuki. Are you? Wow. Okay. Well, th thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. Whoa. Wow! Ain't technology great these days? Before we get started, it's time to open another Rocky Binto! I mean, I can't think of a more appropriate video. It's anime, okay? If you guys don't know what Aki Binto is, basically it's a cool anime box you get sent to your doorstep every single month if you choose to do so. Every single box is themed. Uh, I mean, it's anime. Did I mention that it's anime? They do cool contests all the time, so get yourself an Aki Binto. Click the link in the description if you like what you see in this box. And it does help the channel out if you do so, so hey, just let me know, okay? We're gonna go through this real quick. Super Saiyan Goku pop figure. Oh, Okay, all right, I like that. Oh my god, Cowboy Bebop shirt. Yes! <laughs> I love Cowboy Bebop, I really do. I don't have a shirt from Cowboy Bebop yet, so that's freaking sweet. All right, so what's this month's theme? It is Brawl. Okay, that, that does make sense. There's all those characters fight. Yeah, that does make sense. Dang, this one's good. Cowboy Bebop goggles. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot the character's name though, because it's been so long. How cool is that? I know it's like the girl from uh, from uh, Cowboy Bebop, right? I can't remember her name for whatever reason, though. If I wasn't weeb enough for having this, which by the way, this came in Occupento, then uh, we got some goggles too. Okay, I, th that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like Naruto. That's cool though. So that's one of the exclusive items. We got a Space Corky phone holder, ring holder, Attack on Titan socks. How cool is that? I mean, just stickers for for days. That one was really good, actually. The last few I didn't really care for, but that one was really good. And it's probably because I like Cowboy Bebop Dragon. I mean, I like all those things. So, hey, that was great, guys. Get you one down below. Click the link if you feel like it. Again, helps the channel. Anyway, let's move on to the Dokis. Hey, guys, before we get started with this episode, I just want to give a little warning that there's, uh, you know, some, like, depression kind of things in this episode. I mean, you know how Doki Doki is. I just want to put a warning there for you guys. If you don't like that kind of stuff or if you're uh, sensitive to that kind of stuff, then just don't watch. All right, just letting you know. Okay, let's do this. So last episode, Yuri was like, hey, I am uh, gonna just be freaking psycho as crap even more than normal. So yeah, that's where we left off. You guys uh, missed last episode. I'll link it right here. As pushy and psychotic as Yuri was being, I felt terrible for lashing at her. Like, like I don't. I do not. I do not. I do not. I do not feel ter terrible for doing that. Honestly, I don't. It's because she's kind of crazy. Like, you have to basically, when she ignores all signs, you have to tell her something, right? That wasn't like me. But if it keeps her away from us, then I'm glad it worked at least. And I will have to maintain my threats. Regardless, I turn back to my mountain of schoolwork. How could I miss this much in a week? Well, yeah, you missed a whole week. So he's actually, it's nice to see that they are paying for that because I was like, how do you miss a whole week of work and like not have to catch up? It's almost a blessing that I have two weeks worth of detention to catch up. Oh, you have detention? I doubt I'll be able to get anything done at home. The school's bell rings, signaling the end of the day. I consider skipping the detention and uh, just going to the club instead. Hopefully I can find Monica and tell her to keep Yuri away from me. Packing the piles of, of unfinished worksheets into my bag, I leave for the club. Yeah, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna keep Yuri away when she's part of the club? At this point, will, he, will she even go? I mean, right? Sayuri and Monica are both waiting outside, seemingly scared to enter. Sayuri doesn't meet my, my gaze. Hey, what's going on? Oh, scrub pie. Uh, they're throwing names at each other. Oh my god! Okay, so, so, okay, by the thumbnail, you, uh, if you've seen last episode, you know that someone was in the window, right? Shout out to, uh, to my artist, like, seriously, she's, like, amazing. If you guys have been enjoying those arts, I know that you have, alright? Check her out, link, uh, down below. So, Natsuki, they must have been Natsuki, and now they're fighting. My stomach twists into a knot, right? You know what they're arguing over? You already told Natsuki to ditch you because you'd already devoted, uh, yourself to her. That's a load of, oh, we tried to stop the fighting, but they're both so angry. You told, oh! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I need to end this right now. I feel the doorknob twist in my hand as I enter the club room. Oh, no. Natsuki, are you- No! 
I... She mutters something, but I don't catch it. She shoves past me, tearing down the hall. I fall out of the room only to be stopped by Monica. What did she say? She said she wanted to be alone. For once, she's not desperately clinging to you. Shut it. There's no need, no need to be so rude, okay? We have to remember that Sayori is super jealous. So she, and that's why she's saying that. Look, she even has that face. <laughs> Why won't you love me? Sorry, I was just a little surprised considering. Sayori, shut your- Woo! <laughs> we are snapped! We are just officially done! We're done with these girls, we're going into beast mode, telling them how it is. Just, I shouldn't have snapped. Sorry, I just gotta see if she's okay. I follow Inosuke's footsteps sprinting out of the school to get home. I mean, you know, when things get crazy, you know, sometimes you just snap, right? And I think that's what's happening. Slamming the front door behind me, I make my, my way upstairs. Natsuki? I'm in the bathroom, scrub. I told you to leave me alone. Are you okay? What did she uh, say to you? She... It was nothing. I grit my teeth together. I don't think she's gonna tell me anything right now. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I was so angry about that. I'm sorry, I'm just so mad, you know? If she's feeling better later on, then maybe, but I can hear her sobbing through the door. I mean, yeah, what did she say that was so bad? Like, I'll give her some space. Okay, I'll just be in my room if you need anything, all right? Okay. It must have been, like, about her dad. Like, you don't, you don't know, right? I, re I reluctantly leave her be, heading downstairs for a drink. I check the fridge to see what we have. It still baffles me how much food we, uh, is in here. Since Noski's moved in with me, she's always stocked with ingredients. Or, it's always stocked with ingredients and food, obviously, because she always cooks. The longer I stare into the fridge, I feel as if something is missing. The wine? I don't Oh, no! <laughs> She's going back to her, her old ways, Natsuki is. I don't want her drinking when she's so emotional. I'll talk to her. I mean, come on. I, I, I understand that she had a fight, but she has to go straight to the, to the sauce, you know? Like, is it necessary? I head upstairs again and knock on the bathroom again. Natsuki, have you got the bottle of wine again? Yeah. <laughs> just please go away. I'm just worried about you. Please don't drink it or any more if you have. Scrub pie, I, I, I told you to go. I sigh. I'm sorry, but I'm coming in to take it. I just can't bear to see you like this. No, Scrub, I don't! I fiddle with the handle for a second. Look, if you're getting changed or something, I'll just close my eyes. There's nothing we haven't seen before. Just hand me the bottle and I'll leave you alone, okay? Fine. I open the door, uh, eyes clenched shut. I hold my arm out, hands st uh, stretched and waiting for the wine bottle. It reaches my hand and I close my hand around it. It's wet around the sides as I start to lose my grip. The bottle slips out of my hand and I can sh hear it shatter against the tiles. Crap! <laughs> I open my eyes to look at the remains. And in the corner of my eye, I see Natsuki. Oh, crap! Oh! No! Why is she doing that? What happened? Did we cut her? Did we cut her? I hope that's what it is. Oh, God! No, 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 no! Please! Natsuki, please! Sorry, scrub I She told me to... What? Why? I've been feeling so bad. I, those kids, they followed me to class and they were... What kids? They were just... Horrible. I ran out of the class. I saw you with Yuri. I didn't want to believe what that something was going on between you But she told me you wanted to be What? Natsuki, I never they were right. They would have why would anyone want me? Yuri's right. She's so much more mature than me scrub I everyone sees me as the cute girl some arrogant kid. I made that name for myself It's my fault. This is all my fault. I mean, I don't feel like enunciating the, the stutters, you know No, you just don't I don't want to hear it I grabbed Natsuki by her shoulders in an attempt to force her to listen to me. So I'm confused. Did we cut her or did she do that herself? Because it seemed like she did that herself because of what people were saying about her? I can't. Natsuki, please just hear me out. Fine. This morning, Yuri threw herself at me. She was overly aggressive. The only reason I got out of there when I did was because I threatened her. Threatened to expose what she'd been doing if she didn't stay away from us. I didn't want to, but I was so desperate. And she crossed that line now. I love you and own you, Natsuki. I don't know why you would believe what she said. I recall back holding my cheek. What did I just say that was so wrong? She slapped me? Don't lie to me! You would have deleted the picture she sent you otherwise. Now, are you listening to me? Nothing happened. Yuri was acting like a psycho. She tried to force herself on me. That's all there was. I swear. Natsuki says nothing, and she's still bleeding. Crap. Come on, let's go. What? I'm not going anywhere. For F's sake, Natsuki, I'm taking you to the freaking hospital before you bleed out of my bathroom. Make me. Natsuki sits down on the rim of the bathtub, hands buried in her hair. Her locks beginning to match her ribbons. I, I grab her arms, careful not to touch her wounds. I pull her to her feet. We're going now. No, I don't want to. Natsuki, uh, knees buckle and begins to fall forward. I catch her on the way down. This isn't negotiable. We're going. She keeps saying no. Reaching out of my pocket for my phone, I uh, speed dial the emergency number and press my phone to the side of my head. I explain the situation. The operator assures me that the ambulance is on its way. Dang, this is escalating so much. 
Because she believes some lies? Like, ah. Uh, I, I find that so hard to believe. Like, why would she believe all those things out of nowhere? Like, without even questioning us. Is it because she's seen? I, okay. You know, that maybe that does make sense, I guess. She's seen us through the window, and it looked like we were doing things with her. And so she automatically assumed after that that, you know, things weren't okay. But we just kept doing work, like, you know, because we, we, we didn't know, right? I don't think we actually knew that someone's seen us. So I guess it makes sense. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, so we left Natsuki uh, and carry her downstairs. I lay her down on the couch and rush to the kitchen for a towel. I kneel beside her trying to minimize the bleeding, staring out the window, waiting for the flashing lights to appear. This sucks. <laughs> After what feels like hours, the ambulance arrives, two paramedics hop out of the wheel and gurney to my door. As I pick Natsuki up once more, I notice she's unconscious. Oh crap. The paramedics roll the gurney to the living room. I lay her down into it. I immediately they begin to rush her back to the vehicle. I follow. Wait, can I stay with her? The attendant nods, uh, no she for me to get in. Dang. I jump into the ambulance and immediately we speed off to the hospital. I can't do anything but watch as the paramedic does everything he can to stop the bleeding. I've answered all the questions I could, of course, mentioning that she's probably gotten through the whole bottle of wine. I overhear the driver speaking on the radio, mentioning that Natsuki wounds are fairly deep. The ambulance comes to a sudden halt. The back door immediately swings open and Natsuki is rolled out. I try to follow with her to the A&E? -E? I don't know what that... A &E? I don't know. Ward uh, to no avail. Instead, a nurse intercepts me and leads me to the waiting area, of course. She also mentions that they will keep me updated. Reluctantly, I take a seat and wait. God, she better not. She better not freaking die <laughs> or something. I'll be so mad. Tuesday. I feel something... I feel something nudge my shoulder. Natsuki? I rub my eyes and see the same nurse from earlier. Must have been yesterday, even. She explains that Natsuki was discharged. Oh, she was discharged. And her... <gasps> oh my... No! No! Her emergency contact was called to pick her up. My chest feels as if it's collapsed on herself. That has to be her dad. I jump from my chair, rushing out of the hospital without, without another word. No, 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 no. Making my way to the nearest bus stop, I glance at the schedule posted at the stop. Okay, so we don't know for sure that it's her dad, right? Like, it's just, it's gotta be, but we don't know for sure. You know, we're just trying to be positive here. I don't have 10 minutes to spare. The hell with it. Heck with it, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad of a word, right? <laughs> I meant, eh. It's a bad word. <laughs> I'm just in the moment, you know? I depart from the stop, sprinting down the street to get to her house. I need to get out of or her out of there. God knows what he'll do to her in that state she's in. Not to mention the property damage and the fact that we've stolen from him. I don't even have a chance to fully explain to her what Yuri was doing. That I was totally against it. Even had to threaten Yuri just to get her to stop. Yeah, because she was under the, you know, influence, right? So, like, she couldn't listen to us. She didn't really... Uh, rash she couldn't rationally think about the, the situation. I can see her street sign as I fall into a jog. As I round the corner, I see- Oh. Her father is planted on the balcony where I first overheard his conversation. He's smoking a cigarette, taking a deep puff from it. I can't tell if it's running or the stress, but I feel as, as my heart is going to leap from my chest at any moment. I can't go to confront him uh, about this directly. Not now. He'd kill me. I need to wait for him to leave. I hang a left deciding to head back home. Oh no. How does it- how did this happen? So fast! Everything was so fine! It was great! After a short while, I return to the familiar view of my house. God. I head up to my bedroom. I, und I undress, noticing the bloodstains on the sleeves of my blazer. She tried again. Everything in me feels as if life is tearing apart, all because she's been, uh, been taken from me. I launch my jacket as far away from me as I can. With nowhere else to vent my rage, I drive my fist into my desk, causing the contents of the shells abo uh, above to topple over. An issue of parfait grows and some papers fall to the floor. Looking down at the manga, I notice a word on one of the, on the papers. Hero. Oh, God. This, this, this mod's gonna wreck me, guys. I place the phone back into my desk carefully and get dressed as quickly as possible. I search through my house for anything that I use to protect, to protect myself just in case I have to do a run-in. With her father. Nothing other than kitchen knives. If I'm caught in public with one of those, I'm dead. I guess I'm going to be empty-handed. I mean, we could hide it, you know? We could. But, yeah. I head towards the front door, noticing the closet in the foyer was left open. Out of habit, I close it, not before I see Natsuki's jacket and the scarf I bought her. <laughs> I can't tell what's driving me anymore. Is it the rage directed towards her father, or is it the anxiety caused by her actions last night? Or is it the voice she's left by being taken from me? I slam the closet door, running out of my house. I can see Natsuki's house. I stop running and walk instead. I'm not wearing running clothing and I figure that someone in a long sleeve shirt and jeans may seem out of the ordinary. I step away from the gates of her home. I can see her father's car parked in the driveway. I continue down her street and around the block. I see a bus stop with a bench across the street. I'm gonna sit here until I hear his car leave. 
The car is a performance vehicle. Oh, so like a like a fast car? I'd be able to hear uh, the obnoxiously loud engine from a mile away. Yeah, I guess that's a good plan, but gosh, she's in there. And like, the fact that like, you know, she's been gone for so long, it can't be a good thing that she's coming back, you know? I I'm sure her father is now like, oh, I've changed and now I accept you and oh, are you okay? No! I shake my phone from the, uh, the time. For the time. I checked my phone for the times what it said. I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. She's still and she's still in there. I need a drink. My tongue feels like a sandpaper. Like a sandpaper. <laughs> my tongue feels like sandpaper. I'm so sorry. I can't read ever. I stretch out and stand up, heading quickly to the store nearby for a can of cola. Yeah, oh god. We we didn't even think to like bring water or anything like that. Back and refresh, I pass by Natsuki's house. The car is still parked in the driveway. I'm coming for you, Natsuki. I promise. We gotta do it. Again, I run the block, this time walking around and sitting down at the bus stop on the street. Uh, like, you wonder if he, like, interrogated her? And he's probably, like, waiting for us to come, too, which is, makes things a lot worse. And he probably even called the cops on us and stuff. I stay there motionless, fixated on the house's gate. A hand on my shoulder breaks my- Oh, no. Oh, it's Monica. Scrub Pie, what are you doing here? I, uh, it's private, Monica, sorry. What are you doing here? I was going to check in on Natsuki. Yuri told Sayuri that I that the two of you broke up. I stopped by uh, your house as well, but you weren't home. We didn't break up, Monica. Her dad took her back after I took her to the hospital. So what, you're just going to sit here and stake out her house? And why was she at the hospital? She... I choke on my words, but the look on Monica's face, she can tell what I'm trying to say. It was because of Yuri? I nod. I didn't think she'd take it so seriously. Why don't you just go knock on her door and ask to see her? I can't do that, and neither can you. It's not for me to explain. But if you knock on that door, Natsuki might get hurt again. What do you mean, again? Her father, he... He... Oh. Jesus. I understand, Skrupai. Do you want me to keep you company while you wait? I don't think that's a good idea. You should probably get wherever you're going. It's getting late. Okay, Skrupai, let me know if there's anything you need, okay? Just call me. I nod and give her a weak smile as she stands and walks away. Oh, it's nighttime. Finally, I hear the engine start and the headlights illuminate the- Oh, we're, oh wow. Are we gonna actually get to go in? This is my chance. The gate opens, allowing the car to burst through the driveway. But what if she's in the car? I didn't see anyone in the- Okay, that, that answers my question. I sprint towards the house. I need to act fast if I'm not sure how long he'll be gone for. I'm banking on her being holed up inside her room like last time, so it shouldn't take long to pick her up and take her to the police station. This can't go on any longer. I won't let it. Seeing as the knocks provided no response and I'm not going to take no for an answer, I brace myself for the impact as I swing a small rock into the glass window of the door. Dang, we're like a ninja just busting through this house. The glass shatters. I know exactly what the consequences would be if her father caught me trespassing like this, but I don't care. I jam my right hand through the window and unlock the door from the outside. It creaks open and I slip through, slamming it behind me. Peeking through the downstairs of the house, she's nowhere to be seen. Definitely her room, then. I nearly find myself sprinting up the stairs, shouting her name. Natsuki! It's me! I notice that the remains of the door frame I left behind been cleaned up, uh, leaving a vacant entrance to her father's room. Curiosity... Curiosity washes over me. I take a quick look. Her father's room is even a bigger mess than hers was at the time, uh, time ago. Basically, I think when we, uh, like, ransacked it and stuff like that. The cupboard is gaping open, clothing littered the floor. Desk drawers torn open, their contents spilled. A fast food wrapper litters the bed. I reach out and fill it. Still warm. That must have been from before he left then. Backtracking to Natsuki's door, I nearly tipped over what appears to be her shoes strewn out neatly in the hall. Wait, neatly? I remember what she told me about knocking and what happened when I didn't. For my own safety, I rap on the door a couple of times. Natsuki? It's me. Nothing. Oh my god. The heck with it. Swing you open the door. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I was thinking that this could happen, but... Not like- not like this! Come on! I hate this game. I hate this game. Why?! Natsuki?! No. This is... I'm not... I'm not here. This isn't happening. That... What the... My entire body feels cold. I can't even feel my heart beating anymore. I drop to my knees. She can't be. Natsuki. She's gone. The only girl that I've ever loved like this. She's been taken from me. I want to scream, but I can't make a sound. The overwhelming, the overwhelming urge to vomit nearly overcomes me. But my sobbing suppresses the bile in my throat. I can hardly breathe. I can't even see properly. My tears foggy. My vision to a blur. Oh no, God.
no. I can't even speak her name without getting caught in my throat. I reach out and gently wrap my hand around hers. It's limp, lifeless, cold. I take my hand back. I loved her, but I couldn't, ha I couldn't save her. I've never felt so weak in my entire life. Try as I might, I can't even bring myself to stand. All sensation other than absolute dread has left me. I can't bear to look at her like this anymore. I jam my eyes shut and try to fill my mind with memories of her. Happy thoughts. Oh god. Is that noise? Sayori. Was that crying, guys? That's not us, right? It sounds like a girl, though. Did we just hold ourselves up in the house and we're just there? You know, I didn't want to say this like... <sighs> Some people told me in the, in, the, in the comment section that something like this would happen and I was like, nope, 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 but... You know, I, I just kind of seen it coming and... <sighs> but it doesn't make it any easier. Guys, please don't spoil games anymore. <laughs> but still, like, still, like... It kind of seemed like it was going that direction, and I was like... I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. This freaking sucks. Knock. 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 They're not gonna shut up if I don't answer. I slowly rise from my bed and make my way downstairs. Reaching the door, I open it. Monica stood outside, Yuri and Sayuri in tow. Oh, no. Oh, and even Yuri's here. Oh, crap. They're all looking seldom, seldomly at me. Scrupi, don't even bother. I don't want to know. You missed it. The funeral, Scrup. Oh, God. We missed her funeral? It was today. I... What? I had no idea. Noski's funeral. My one chance to see her to say my goodbyes. Oh, my God. That's sad. That's kind of making me tear up, though. Gone. I need a minute. I drag myself into the kitchen just in time to vomit at the trash can. I'm pathetic. I couldn't even make it to the funeral of the girl I loved. I couldn't even get out of bed. I couldn't even save her. Scrub I wipe my mouth with my sleeve, slamming the can lid shut. Scrub I I'm so sorry. What for? I kind of wish I would have picked a, a more like a fitting name now. You have to go. You having to go through this. Everything you saw. I brushed her uh, past her on the way back upstairs to my room. We should have. We should have just broken the like the house. Oh god, guys. Holy crap. I can hear the other girls rushing uh, up the stairs. You know, we will always be there for you at the club. Are you coming? I need to go back there. I need- I, I know I do. Natsuki would have wanted me to. And I can't fail her again, I guess. Well, we've we've suspended the club activities for now. It'll just be a place to talk for a few days. You okay with that? I nod. Sayuri fidgets uncomfortably, tears welling up in her eyes. I can tell she wants to say something. Sayuri. Sayuri rushes towards me, pulling me into a deep embrace. I stumble back, nearly tipping over. She begins crying into my shoulder. Scrupa, I'm so sorry. I awkwardly pat her on the back to comfort her, but it does nothing. It... A long silence ensues, broken only by Sayuri's stifled sobs. Eventually, she breaks away, wiping her face. He's been arrested. Apparently for more than what he did to her. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing you could have done. Nothing I could have done. Nothing I could have done! <laughs> well, we're like so mad now. I could have done so much more. I could have stayed with her at the doctor's. It could have been... I could have been there to comfort her. I could have told her that I loved her more. I could have convinced her to go to the cops. That if she did, she'd be free of him. She'd be safe. She'd be happy. But now, she never will be. And nor will I. I can feel the tears welling up in my eyes again. I... I need to get away from this. I need help. I need sleep. I need... I need Natsuki. I need Natsuki, guys! God! I need to be with her. Oh, Scrupi, don't. All of you, please. Just leave. Get out. I'll be at the club tomorrow. I need some time alone. Yuri wants to protest, but I glare at her glassy-eyed. She doesn't back down. Well, I'm sorry, Scrupi, but Yuri, come on. Scrupi needs some space. What is she gonna say? Come on! <laughs> Monica, you can't tell me what to do. He clearly needs someone to speak to, and I know how to help him. Yuri, he just wants to be alone. Why is it so hard to understand? 
He doesn't even know what he wants. And you do? Yuri rushes Monica. Oh. Oh, wait, rushes her. But Sayuri jams herself between them trying to uh, retain the long uh, lost uh, pause? Or peace, sorry. Stop it. I know exactly what he needs. You don't it, you don't know anything, Yuri. Now that Natsuki's gone, you just want to swoop in and take him while he's vulnerable. Guys, stop. I saw the pictures you sent him. You're disgusting. My head is spinning. I can't focus. Stumbling back against the wall, I slide down to the floor, watching the fight wearily. How dare you? How much? Oh, oh, oh! Yuri stumbles to her knees, dazed and confused. I mean, she deserves it. I mean, honestly. Monica's fist still raised in the air, freezes on the spot as everyone's eyes lock into her. Oh, God. Yuri, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, God, she's so mad. Yuri pulls herself to her feet, eyeing Monica scathingly, and starts striding towards her. Instead of making a move, she shoves past her and straight out of the door. I have no words. God, this is such a, it's so intense. Sayuri weeping rushes out too to catch her, uh, or to leave, I don't know. Monica left alone with me begins muttering to herself. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry, Scrupi. Being the last girl to leave, Monica slams the door behind her, and I'm alone with my thoughts once again. May as well put this time to good use. From my drawer, I pull out a sheet of paper and a pen, and I start to write. This is like seriously the most intense mod ever, like, this is so good. Morning. This is my first day back at the club. Hopefully, I made my way to the bathroom. It's just skipped. I don't know. Oh god, I haven't cleaned up. Her dried blood still- oh no. Her dried blood still specks the tiles. Broken glass spread across the floor. Oh, that's depressing. I can hear it crunch beneath my shoes as I make my way to the sink and splash my face with water from the tap. Face in the mirror, I take a good long look at myself. Look at you. You're disgusting. This is your fault. I, you should have done more. You should have called the police as soon as uh, she confirmed your suspicions. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Like, the, the reality is, is like, when, when something happens in life, it's like, you could say, I should have done this, should have done that, but, you know, in, in reality, it does nothing. You can't, you can't turn back time. You just can't. You can learn from it. For the future, but you can't turn back time. But you didn't because you was out of town and things were going well between you two. You were lazy and didn't want to deal with the hassle. You disgust me. You idiot. It's your fault she's dead. It's your fault. I can't take it anymore. I leave the bathroom, the tap's still running. Just left the water on? Back in my room, my uniform lady is waiting for me. I get changed quickly, ready to go. Taking one last look around, I make my way downstairs and out of the door. Dang, this is so intense. School was heck. <laughs> heck. Of course, I had teachers and students alike reaching out, offering me someone to talk to if I should need it. False sympathy. That's what it is. And I hate it. Regardless, I think going to school was worth it. I can go back to the literature club. It's straight a long way for the literature at this point. I open the club room door. This... This isn't right. Oh, Scrub Pie, how are you doing? We're all here for you, you know? Monica gives me a weak smile. I understand there's... I understand where she's coming from, but false sympathy is the last thing I want. I can't help but feel drawn to the- I can't help but feel drawn to the closet, of course, where we hung out. Knowing full and well that if I step foot in there, I'll break down entirely. I sit near the corner of the room next to the entrance of the club. Scrub pie? Are you okay? I nod at Sayori trying to politely get away from- get her- get away from me? Get- oh God, I'm so sorry for my bad reading. Trying to get her away from me. I don't want anyone's sympathy. I can feel my vision being blurred by tears. I hang my head down to avoid anyone noticing, jamming my eyes shut. Scrub pie, are you sure? Scrub pie, please say something. I'm I'm fine. My my voice breaks. I feel a hand on my shoulder. I want to jerk away, but what's the point? Her hand lifts my chin. You'll be okay, Scrub pie. Time heals all wounds. I mean, it's true, but yeah, it's hard. I I can't hide my disgust in their words. Do they honestly do they honestly believe what they're saying? The love of my life has been ripped from me. I can feel the tears uh, falling over my cheeks. Things aren't okay. She's gone. Don't you get that? Or was she so disposable to you that you just don't give a crap? I lay my head down into my arms supported by the desk. I didn't mean to snap. I can't help but feel even worse. Fine then. I'll leave you alone. Jerk. Sayuri, you realize what he's going through, right? Yeah, I know, but it doesn't mean... That's enough. It's okay, Sayuri. I understand. I can't handle this. I need to see the closet. One last time. I enter dropping the bag to the floor. The rest of her manga collection are still there. I never did take them back to our house. I close the door behind me looking out of the club room, under the windowsill. I met the true Natsuki, the one I fell in love with. God, this is so freaking... Dang. I crumble to the floor near the window. I can't control the tears any longer. I just want her back. This is giving me freaking Clan Ad vibes, man. If you guys... Yeah, if you guys like this kind of stuff, you need to watch Clan Ad. I'm just all I'm saying, okay? Uh, Scrub Pie, it's nearly the end of the day. We need to go. Monica stood above me trying to talk to me. I'm pretty much unresponsive. 
Sighing, she outstretches her arm in my direction, offering to pull me up. I reluctantly stand on my own accord, ignoring her helping hand. Sayuri's already gone home. Oh, if you want, I'll take you home. I just want to make sure you recover, Scrub Pie. This is, it's horrible, and we all hate seeing you through this. Go through this. It's why we're trying to, our best to help. You don't need to. Scrub Pie, please don't tell me you're considering. You know. I'll have to let the school know. I'm not. I'm fine living with this. I deserve it. Scrub Pie, why? Why are you blaming yourself? Because it was my fault. I should have called the cops as soon as I knew for sure that what was going on. I did it because he was away or something and we were enjoying the time we had and I had the perfect opportunity to give her a better life and I blew it. Now she's dead. And I'm rotting in the worst heck I could possibly think of. Scrub Pie, this isn't okay. You can't live like this. Come on, let's go. I'll walk home with you. I need to use the bathroom first. Fine. I'll be waiting outside, okay? We exit the club room together without another word. She takes a seat on one of the benches in the hallway. In the bathroom, I move onto the one of the stalls. I drop my bag into the floor inside and unzip it. I look for my poem buried deep within it. Oh, we wrote this. Exit music. So where we were together, a white room by a window where the sun came through. No matter the outcome, no matter the cost, I wanted nothing but the best for you. Your tiny hands, your crazy kitten smile. Everything was perfect, if only for a short while, short while, but it all came crashing down because you had to leave. And now that you're gone, there's nothing left. I didn't try my best and now we paid the price. Into my life comes a darkness and there's nowhere left to hide. In my heart, in my mind, the places that you used to reside lays in overbearing silence. Caused by your absence, this is all on me. How could I let this happen? Guilt holds me like a phantom, regret drags me like a storm. Calling out an urge, I am helpless to resist. In my darkest hour, whatever happens next, I really messed up everything. I can't bear my consciences, welding its toils with my sanity. I run to the back and cover my ears, to my deepest depths, but it's the loudest sound I'll ever hear. Maybe a deep dive to face my fears will help me get back to your arms. Now I'm sailing to the moon to come and be with you. I will see you in the next life. I swallow. I'm going to have to make it this, wait, wait, make this quick. What is that? Is, did, is he, did he really just say that right now? Don't do it. I exit the bathroom note in hand. Monica must know something's up because she stands up once and approaches me. Oh, so that's when, that's when we wrote it. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Scrub pie, what's that? It's something I wrote last night. You mind letting me read it? Sure. I let go of the note, lifting it, uh, letting it drift to the floor towards her. She bends down to pick it up and returns to her seat on the bench to read. A couple of minutes pass, her eyes fixated on the paper. By the time she's finished reading, she stares at me with glassy eyes like she's on the verge of tears. Uh -huh. But she doesn't even have time to mutter my name like I'm sure she would have because I'm already out of the door, bolting out of the school. Oh crap, we ran. Scrap pie! <laughs> I hear that echo from behind me as I sprint to the street and out of her sight. Dang, is she gonna chase us? It stopped raining. At this point, it's the adrenaline that's carried me to my destination. I know where I'm going, but I need to make sure I don't run into anyone. Not far now. I hear a siren blur out from a couple of blocks away. It sounds like Monica's let them know about me. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm here. Oh. I stand in the middle of the bridge and stare out over the water. I try to control my breathing and sobbing, but it's no use. I felt her. If I could have done things different, I would have. But it doesn't matter what you could have done. It doesn't matter. But I can't, and now the girl I loved is gone. Forever. I drop to my knees, gripping the railing with one hand. I lift my head looking out of the vast uh, body of water. I bring myself to my feet. An intense wave of clarity stops my sobbing. I hold my breath for a moment, letting out a shaky sigh. I step up into the ledge. This is what has to happen. I was doomed from the start. There's not much else I could do now, but... Scrap! Oh, oh, Monica's here. My, my eyes lock on Monica rushing towards me. Looks like she found me. I inch my heel closer to the edge. Scrap, I don't. She reaches out to grab me. Monica desperately holds into my lapels to the lapels of my jacket while I give uh, feeble resistance. I'm tugged forward, collapsing onto the concrete. Scrub Pie, listen to me. I'm not letting you go. Not for a second. Just please, don't do this. Let us talk it out. Scrub Pie, this, this isn't a solution to what happened, Scrub Pie. This is only going to make everything worse. Don't you understand? I... Scrub Pie, this isn't how your story ends. Please. I wipe the remaining tears from my cheeks. I manage to rise to my feet, gripping the railing for support. My entire body is trembling. I feel completely numb. Look at me, Scrub Pie. Please, you can't do this. 
I meet Monica's gaze for a moment. Seeing the tears welling in the corner of her eyes sends a sharp pain through my chest. Skrupa, you're not thinking of the bigger picture. Sayuri, you know what'll happen if she loses you? I know you know, Skrupa. You really, you really want that? You can't. And Yuri? God only knows what she'd do. Why should I care? She's a good chunk of the reason. What the heck was that? Monica, let's go back. Please. Monica takes hold of my hand, pulling us away from the rail. We all love you, Skrupai. We'll always be here for you. No matter what. I release my grip from the railing, following Monica's lead. What is that? What is that flashing? No. No. Pushing... Pushing with all the energy I have, I take Monica by the shoulders and shove her back as hard as I can. She she loses her grip on me, stumbling and nearly falling into the concrete. As Monica realizes what's happening, she lets out a scream and scrambles to her feet. This must be done. Are you kidding me? This is the only escape from everything. I can't control my actions anymore. I'm coming, Natsuki. I sprint towards the rail, vaulting myself over. Holy crap. As I begin to journey down, I remember the times Natsuki and I had spent together. Our first time reading together. When she told me she liked my poems. Baking together. When she told me she loved me, all of it. See the look on her face of pure happiness? I'm reminded of the sensation of weightlessness, almost like right now. Now I'm going to see her again. Noski, if you can hear me, I will see you in the next life. This was the right choice. What the heck? Is a cutscene? I was wondering what those flashes were. I think it was the game. <gasps> what the heck? Is that a hand? So did he, he actually did it then? Trying to, I'm trying to see if something's gonna happen, but I think that's it. Is that it? Should I click? Is anything, is anything happening? Don't tell. Is, is it just it? Shut up. Oh no, we got flashes of Natsuki. Oh, is he is he drowning? Yeah, because it's like it's not like he can't just swim up. Like it didn't look like that big of a jump. But if he just wants to, you know. Like Monica would jump in the water, right? I mean, I don't know the context. Maybe it was a big jump. I don't know. Crap, I can't it's hard to hear. Come on, tell me he survives. Please do. Like, tell me. Something. Is that, is that it? Is that how it ends? I hate this game. <laughs> Dang. Olive Norton and, and Jacob Smallman. It was good. Guys, I want to end this by saying that do not let this game influence you, okay? It's just it's just a story and I think the worst thing that, that could possibly happen is by someone being influenced by Doki Doki Literature Club because we've seen it, you know, we've seen it in the past and, and it's just, I just want to let you guys know that life is a good thing, okay? And don't let something as stupid as a video game make you even think about doing, you know, something rash, something crazy. I'm just saying that 
It's just a game, okay? It's a freaking good story, and this was a good mod, okay? Uh, aww. Dang it, man. Why do they gotta- why do they gotta do this? What? Dang, that was a pretty good ending. Okay, to you, the player. First of all, I'd like to thank you for giving Doki Doki X music a chance and simultaneously apologize for the last 30 minutes. I hope you can forgive me and hope you enjoyed. That being said, the developer of this mod was certainly difficult, the development. For a start, we had an ex-dev team member leak an early build of the mod, calling it his own mod. So yeah, uh, <laughs> F him. In addition, we had a lot of unfortunate events occur in the public exit music discord server, like losing somebody in their dis- oh wow. To Eliza, I'm sorry that that happened to you, and to Thigo, I know it's gonna be hard, but you'll make it through, I promise. What? I joined Exit Music on the 9th of April, and since then, I've met so many great people. So to all of you reading, thank you for taking interest in this project. We couldn't have done it without you. Working on Doki Doki Exit Music has been fun. Meeting new people and helping to complete this mod was one of the best things that could have happened to me in the past few months. I sincerely hope the effort we all put in was worth your time. I just realized there's a bunch of different uh, messages from everyone. Oh, there's one for- there's one right here for me. Uh, BG Mike for introducing me to the concept of DDLC modding by playing them on his YouTube channel and showing how terrible some were. Well, he may well be reading right now. If so, I appreciate it, man. Hey, this was like seriously the best, like hands down the best mod that I've ever played and I'm not even just like saying it uh, because you know I like Natsuki or whatever like that like sure like I'm a little biased in that department but like the music like everything about it was just so amazing and way too sad okay but that's why it's good <laughs> you know I mean I've never seen so much work go into it like with the with the original art and, and stuff like well other mods have had original art like I'm not trying to put any mods down but I just, the writing, man, the writing was so, like, it really kind of revitalized the Doki Doki Literature Club uh, mods for me, and I don't even, I just don't know, I feel sorry for someone that's trying to top this, basically. But that doesn't mean don't try, okay? And I'm sure there's a lot of other great mods out there, but man, I really enjoyed this. Guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this, okay? And again, I just, I know this was very, very sad. And I want to let you guys know that it seriously it doesn't have to be that way. And that life is an amazing thing. I know we go through a lot of hard crap in life. But you can always come out of it. Alright? And Scrupite, I know he, what he should have done is stuck with it with Sayuri and Monica and Yuri. It just seems like at that time you don't know. Like it just feels like there's no other answer, right? It just feels like that everything will never get better. But it will get better. Time does heal the wounds. It just, you have to let it happen and, and it's, you have to be really, you have to be really brave in order to go through those, those pains and, and struggles of, of living life even though it's hard. It's, it's really a, a huge sign of bravery to do that and, but I can guarantee you that when you look back, when you look back years down the road or however long, that you will always, always like be so thankful that you did, that you stuck it out. And that you just kept on going. And that's what I want to tell you guys. Um, you know, I feel it's cliche to say, but I can put, you know, the numbers to, like, the hotlines and stuff to call, like, all that info for you guys. Because I know that, you know, somewhat Doki Doki has had an impact on some of you guys. And, and, and some, some in a negative way, even though it shouldn't. It's literally just a game. So, I don't really understand that part. Um, but I enjoyed, I enjoy this game and I enjoy this story. There's no lesson to be learned in this mod, actually. That's probably probably my only uh, thing that I don't like about it is that literally there's no good ending, and there's no there's no lesson really to be learned other than, you know, should have called the cops. Like, <laughs> what, what what am I supposed to take from this? But yeah, there's not always a happy ending to life, but there definitely can be. Okay, you definitely there is an answer. Oh, okay, we're back. It's really not a good time to do scrub of the day. Um, again, I, I, I'm gonna ramble on. You guys already know my thoughts on this. Um, I don't know if we'll do another Doki mod. I mean, if you guys, if you guys, you know, suggest something that was as good as this, then I probably will give it a try. But who knows? I want to say, guys, thank you so much. I I love you guys. I really, really do. You guys have made my life so much better than it was. <laughs> and I'll never really truly understand, you know 
what it really means, right? To have all these people watching and to just have the support and I don't know. Just thank you guys, all right? Thank you so much. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I want to say so much, but I can't. Well, with that out of the way, consider buying a shirt in case this video gets demonetized because there's a good chance it might. Um, buy a shirt or watch uh, some more videos, okay? I'll be sure to link them right here, guys. All right, we got to get back up and we got to recover because Natsuki's actually alive. It's a mod. <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, this is a mod. Natsuki is, is alive and well, okay? She is, she's, she is doing just fine. I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I guess the last thing I want to say is like, sorry that I had to blur a lot of stuff out. I probably, this episode too, I probably had to blur out basically what happened. I feel like it's just how it is. And uh, feel free to play this mod if you want to see the unblurred version. Uh, only if, of course, if you're not sensitive to that kind of stuff. Okay, all right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go. Guys, thank you so much again, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye-bye.